Hey guys, what we're going to do now that we have our base HTML, we're just going to create uh, the couple other uh, views or, or layouts that we have, like the register form, um, the details view, and uh, the cart. All right, so I just want to say that some minor details may be different when we actually um, when we actually insert the view into our application, uh, as opposed to this this uh, skeleton HTML. So there might be a few things. For instance, we don't have the quantity here. Um, we're just going to add that when we actually do the the application view. All right. So the next page I want to do is the register .html. All right. So let's go to our HTML folder, and I'm going to create a new document and call it register.html and we might as well create the other pages as well let's create details details.html and also uh, cart html all right so i'm going to open up register and basically i'm just going to copy everything from the index page which is our base layout or base template and paste that in and then we just the sidebar is going to be the exact same um, let's uh, delete the main content which is the games okay so we just want to clear out this eight column div okay so it ends right here so we want to just get rid of everything that's in it um, actually you know what let's we want to keep the panel okay see how we have this panel uh, and then we have the panel heading so let's go right under um, panel body okay let's see where this ends right there uh, so let's just grab this whole row okay so right here all right so for the title let's go ahead and change that um, I'm actually gonna just change that to the gaming place and I'm gonna paste in the form all right, so basically we just have a form with a name. Uh, actually, I need to change this up a little bit. It's going to be a first name. Okay, we can change this to first name. And we might as well, oh yeah, we need, okay, we need a last name. Again, I'm sorry that I can't um, hand type everything uh, because, I mean, as it is, we need three videos just to do this, the HTML, and I, I don't even want to spend three videos on it. But then again, I don't want to just, um, you know, not do it and just throw it in because I like to, to kind of build it from, from top to bottom. Um, and I do apologize that I can't hand type every single HTML tag uh, it would just make this way too long all right so I'm trying to uh, just make it short and sweet I guess all right so first name last name email username password password confirm and then register all right so pretty simple form uh, let's save that and we should now be able to go to create account all right, so I know this looks a little weird. Uh, we're going to fix that when we do the CSS. So that's register. Um, the next one, let's do the details page. So if we open that up, I'm just going to copy what we have in register. Paste that in. Okay, and we just want to 
get rid of the form. And I'm just going to paste in here. All right, so basically I paste in a row and I added the class details. All right, then we have um, a four column and an eight column. All right, so if we look at the, uh, actually let's just, we'll just save it and look at it. But anyway, we have the, the, the name of the game, the price, we have the details, and then a buy button or a submit button. All right, which says add to cart. So if we save that, reload, and we click on one of these games. Uh, actually, it takes us to a, a product.html. It should be details. Um, but just so I don't have to change everything, I'm just going to rename details to product. All right, and basically all of them are going to go to this Call of Duty because that's what I have for our static content. All right, so very, very simple details page. All right, so the last page that I want to create is the cart. So let's open that up. And again, I'm going to copy everything and register. And then we want to just delete the form. I'm going to paste in the cart, which is basically a table. Okay, so we have a table with the product, quantity, price. I have a couple sample items in there. And then we just have basically a form down here for the address, uh, city, state, zip code, and then a checkout button. And there will be some minor changes to, to the HTML when we actually implement the view in our application but not too much won't be too much different so let's save that and just check out uh, let's see we want to go to cart dot HTML all right I actually want to use the striped table class that comes with bootstrap so let's see we want the table tag I'm going to change this from table bordered to table striped all right so then we get that every other row is striped effect so that looks good um, those are the the main pages so now what I want to do is just uh, customize create our custom CSS file open up custom CSS I want to open it with notepad plus plus and let's go ahead and get rid of this starter template class we don't need that and if we look at the template you can see that the 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 uh, the main content area is pushed up against the nav bar so what I'm going to do is bring that body um, padding top I'm going to bring that to 75 all right so that looks a lot better um, the nav bar is good except I want the links to be white and not this um, darker gray grayish color all right so we'll say navbar a color is going to be white and let's make that important all right so now they're white and the next thing i want to do is the cart block all right so we actually want a, a background for that and just um, make it pop a little more so let's see, let's do, I believe it's cart block. And we'll give it a background of dark gray. And of course we want the color to be white. And a padding of 10 pixels and also just a, a, a margin bottom and I want that to be 20 pixels okay so that gives us our cart and next I want to add some panel stuff um, just to I want to make this dark this background make this one green uh, just customize it a little bit so 
let's first uh, say panel list A. I want to display as a block and make the color dark gray. And let's see the, the panel heading. So panel list and panel heading um, H3. I want to add some padding there and also change the font size, make it a little bigger, 18 pixels. All right, and then we'll do the custom panels. Um, let me just paste those in. Okay, so we get our panel heading green and panel heading dark. Okay, so let's save that. Okay, so now this is dark, this is green. That one's gray, that's fine. You can see that there's more padding now, it makes it a little bigger, a little more prominent. All right, so let's go back to the home page. index all right so now I want to do this area the games uh, so let's all right so each each of these um, columns has a class called game so I want to I want to position those relative because we're going to position these prices uh, absolute inside of the the actual image div so it'll be like right here all right so let's go and create game and we just want to make sure that we display relative and I believe that's all we need for the actual game class next is the game title which do I even have yeah okay so this is the title let me just make sure that that has a class um, okay so yeah we have the div class game title around the actual title okay so back to custom CSS and I want this to align center And let's see what else. Let's uh, add some padding, five pixels, and give it a background of dark gray. And then make sure the color is white. All right, so save that. Okay. And we'll take care of that space on the side in a minute. Um, the images. Okay, so the game image, I want to stretch across 100%. Okay, we want it, what am I doing? So game with 100%, and this actually should be game image. All right, so you can see it shrunk because it was stretching out of its div. By putting it at 100%, it's going to be 100% of its parent div, all right, which made it match up with the title. All right, so the price, let's do that now. Game price. And like I said, it's going to be positioned absolute. And let's make it from the bottom we're going to do 120 pixels and from the right we're going to do 15 pixels and give it a, a green background okay so background is going to be 3 B 7 e 1 4 and we want to make sure that the color is white um, and padding Five pixels. We'll make the font size bigger. Let's make it um, 22 pixels. 
and that should be good for the price all right let's check that out all right so now the price is here okay nice and big uh, let's move it down a little bit I'm gonna bring this bottom let's see what a hundred pixels looks like all right so that looks better now um, the add to cart button has a class of game add Okay, so the margin, we're going to do um, five on the top. We want auto on the left and right, and 20 on the bottom. I want to stretch, make sure the width goes 100%, and text align, I want it centered. All right. So we'll be adding the quantity field in there uh, when we actually create it in the application. But that should be good for now for the products page or the home page. All right, so this is the detail page, which um, I'm not going to put too much effort into. It's just a page with the image and description and another and a button. Um, the page really isn't needed since you can just add them uh, in the products view. But I figured I'd add it. Uh, I'm just going to make this price bigger. Um, so details, price. Uh, I'm going to make the font size um, 25 pixels and add a margin bottom of. 20 pixels and then I just want to make sure the image stretches a hundred percent of its parent div so details details image width is going to be a hundred percent and that should be fine for this page all right so that's that's fine uh, so I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, we will have uh, some minor changes to the HTML as we go along. Oh, the footer. Uh, I just want to change that or add to it. So we want footer. And I'm going to give it a dark background. Color will be white. Um, give it a height of 70 and what else text align is going to be center and also add 20 pixels padding to the top all right so that looks a lot better so I think we're good for our HTML template um, Next, we're going to jump into our Code Igniter application and get going on.